guys, hi here. Welcome back again to another video. Oh my god, it's not easy for me, trust me. So, um, today's video, I'm just gonna show you, bring you back to our own time. I don't know if you guys can remember this. If at all you have been brought up in a very low class area where you set fire, wound you, mold blocks, sometimes we use with um mud like a red sand you use you build it so you can able to cook you set fire wound just as you are saying it right now on this video what you need to do is add some kerosene you uh, light on with matches and to pop out you just allow it this fire is a very good method to cook fast unlike stove or gas i know those are modern age things now <laughs> But this one are the one we normally used then back then. I told my uh mother let's cook with um gas. She said no, let's make it fast, let's make it snappy. She just went to the back and set up a block and also uh put some fire wound kerosene matches and it all went lighting. As you can see, we got some uh chicken and other spicy. We want to prepare uh two dishes. That's um fried rice and jello fries because it's our little sister's birthday. We just want to do a little way, you know, and just leave you know like a party 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 party. But this seems very nice. I can't remember the last time I really cook like this, like with the fire wound. Oh no, oh no, it doesn't happen anywhere or less in Nigeria. I don't know about other Africa countries, but in Nigeria, we use fire wound. Do you understand? We use fire wound to cook if you want to cook first or better stay, you know, in a low class um, time, local family when you don't have money. You don't have access to gas or stove all you need to do is is it how you go take some red sand mold it build it as a um like um how would i call it u shape u shape so you can put some fire wound in between it put your matches uh your kerosene in your matches the lights will just come up and you are good to go to cook so that's what i am doing right now so guys you can't imagine how this food is gonna taste like i don't know if you have ever uh attended a party in uh, africa but if you're in nigeria you can relate you know in nigeria we don't use gas to cook party jollof rice or bear the uh, party um fried rice if if at all you really want to be fast if at all you want to be snappy so you have to use fire wood that in that way they use a bigger one like i don't know what they call it we call it a gaga or something you use a bigger um a bigger one to light the fire because you are using a big pot to cook the food sometimes they cook uh one bag of rice twice or once i can't really remember so this is just a way of doing it we're adding some ingredient to the the cooking pot we have like big two chicken inside here if you see this chicken mirror it's not like the one we're seeing in other places but this one is big yo oh my goodness i would have showed you when uh we're killing it was life shaking though not like the one you put in the freezer for week for like months this one is live chicken you just we just keyed it newly and we sliced it we washed it put it in the pot as some sneezes and um we are about to cook it and this pot we use like oil red oil to rub the back so that we can wash it after the, because the smoke from the for the for the fire we just stain it we might not be able to wash it out so we added some oil at the back of the pot as you can see now so that when the smoke is burning the pot, when we are watching it, it's gonna come out uh easily, gents now without stress. As you can see, you see all the fire is lighting already. Oh my god. I can't even believe myself. When my mom told me, Okay, let's do this, I was like, mm, no, no, this is stressful. Let's use gas. She said, if you don't want to leave here, you can go and use gas. But if you want to leave here snapping, use this uh, as you can see you see the, the the meat is already boiling like it's boiling literally boiling you see the fire oh my god oh my god 
this food i might not show you how i prepare everything and all of that but i just wanted to show you guys how we cook in olden days or better still it's not even only this thing now where you don't have money for gas cooking or um what's it called um a stove you see we fry everything already all you need to do is just set your fire wound if you have block mode if you don't have block you use red sand to mode it you see you see how the stew is red man if you see the jello fries is so sweet everything was on point i'm already done guys i'm right i never wanted to show you the cooking method i just only want to show um <laughs> the firewood and how we cook back then until now we still do it not back then so this is the jollof rice and we cook it it's not even more than how many uh, hours that we done so nice to show that cooking firewood sometimes helps a lot with the fasting and all that thank you guys for tuning in i appreciate you guys you guys are lovely don't worry i'm gonna give you back to back so with the make time enjoy thanks <laughs>